Okay. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome everyone to today's city council meeting today, Monday, July 10th, 2023. I now call this meeting to order. Roll call, please. District one, council member Casey. Present. District two, council member Vieira. Present. District four, council member Martinez. Present. District three, vice mayor Silvera. Here. Mayor Lopez. Here. And today's invocation is by Chris Henry from the Valley Christian Center, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Father, we thank you for this time to get together, to gather, to do the business of this city. I thank you for this beautiful city and everything that is, is uh, meant to my family, to my church. But I pray today that as mayor and the council gathers and hears from the community, that they see things not through just their own eyes, but through your eyes, Lord, that there's a purpose and that your will will be fulfilled. Lord, I thank you for your continued protection for uh, our fire department who has come to our rescue time and time again, continue to protect them. And for our police department, Lord, as they go into even the darkest places, let there be a light that shines and that shine that, that, that light is your hope in our life, a light that doesn't make any sense even when things are at their darkest. Lord, protect them as they protect us. Fathers, churches all around the community are moving into a time of vacation Bible school, May the children be protected even uh, as they, they go to these uh, on church grounds and city uh, park department. Lord, I, I pray your protection over them and that your will and purpose be done. And in all things, may your son, Jesus, be glorified in all things that we do. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Moving on to citizens communications. While the city council welcomes and encourages participation in the city council meetings, adopt the rules allow no more than five minutes, resolution number 2007-106, for expression of non-agenda items. Matters under the jurisdiction of the city council and not on the posted agenda may be addressed by the general public. However, California law prohibits the city council from taking any action on any matters which is not posted on the agenda unless it is determined to be an emergency by the city council. Citizens are entitled to address the city council on any agenda item subject to the five minute provision. Anyone wishing to address the city council must adhere to the rules of decorum. The rules of decorum are posted outside the chamber's doors. Is there anyone in the room that would like to make a comment? Seeing none, anybody on Zoom? There are no hands raised on Zoom. Okay, do we receive any emails? Correct, yes. We received an email from Renee Zoomstein and it reads, I'm unable to attend the meeting tonight, but would like to have the comments below read during the meeting, please. My name is Renee and I'm happy to hear that Ceres is moving forward with the Crosstown Showdown this year. Summer is already going too fast and this event will be here before we know it. I attended the event last year and would like to be part of helping to plan this year's event if possible. I feel that it's important to include parents and community members in addition to the CUSD school board and schools when planning these series wide events to help make the event as successful as it can be for everyone. I'm a lifelong resident of series, attended series schools K through 12 and have two students who are involved with extracurricular activities at school and feel that I could be a great addition to the planning of this event for our community. I was happy to hear that at least one of my suggestions given at the event last year has been taken to heart, such as moving the event to a Saturday to allow for more particip participation from the community, parents, and students. I also feel that all sports should have an opportunity to participate regardless of what season they play in and that other series schools be invited to send students to represent their schools as well. Celebrating series should be a fun event and highlighting our students and our city with this parade is a great way to start the year off right. I have listed my contact information below. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, public period is now closed. Moving on to appointments and board commissions. Item A, council designation of a voting delegate to represent the city of series at the League of California Cities 2023. City Clerk. So this item is brought to you as it is uh, each year, 
and this is to designate a voting delegate for the League of California Cities Annual Conference, which is being held September 20th through 22nd in Sacramento. Um, part of the conference takes place on September 22nd, where the General Assembly, which is made up of delegates from their respective cities, vote on various resolutions. So at this time, staff is recommending council appoint a delegate as well as an alternate. And, and we have Silvera and Martinez who will be attending. And then Casey, are you attending? You guys are all attending? No. Okay. Um, well, I'll let you boys decide. Jim, I wasn't sure if you were going. Daniel and I talked about it. It doesn't matter to me. I should probably at best be the alternate. I would suggest either Daniel or you be the actual voting delegate. So it's up to you. Daniel volunteered if you don't, if it doesn't matter to you. Okay. And Daniel. Was like a plan. Jim and I can actually both be the alternates that listed the ability to have two alternates. Can you have two alternates? I'm not sure if you can list both. If not, which is the one? Casey? Okay. Well, the... And can we just get council consensus on that? Do we need a motion or anything of that sort? Or if you just write it down? Council consensus is sufficient. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Thank you very much. Moving on to conflict of interest, is there anyone in the city council that would like to declare a conflict of interest? Seeing none. Moving on to consent calendar. All matters listed on the consent calendar are considered routine in nature and will be enacted by a single motion unless otherwise re requested by an individual council member or public for special consideration. Otherwise, the recommendation of staff will be acted on by a roll call vote. Is there anyone on the council that would like a consent item pulled for further discussion? Aye. Anyone else? Is there anybody in the public that would like an item pulled? Yes, sir. Mayor, I'm not sure if I'm out of turn. I don't want to pull an item, but I would like to comment on one if possible. Um, if you want to comment on that particular item, you have to pull the item, make a request for the pulling the item. What number would you like to pull? Um, item number eight, the ordinance on fireworks. Items number eight. Excuse me. Oh, you, number item number six. Six. You excuse me. Okay. Item number six. Is it? And I, we'll we'll call you up once Thank we you. get back to it. Can we get his name, please? And can you please, for the record, state your name? My name is Lewis Linney. Okay. Thank you. Is there anybody else? Go ahead, Mr. Yakely. Go ahead. Yeah, number seven. Number seven. This, this item's not consent, Mayor. It's one through six that can be pulled from the consent calendar. No problem. Okay. No one else? Back to the council for a motion. Make a motion to approve consent items one through four. Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Casey. Yes. Council Member Vieira. Yes. Council Member Martinez. Aye. Vice Mayor Silvera. Yes. Mayor Lopez. Yes. Item passes. Motion passes five zero. Thank you. Item number five, resolution twenty twenty three, approving amendment number one to Stanislaus Animal Service Agency Joint Powers Agency Agreement, and that was pulled by Miss Rosalinda. Correct. Go ahead, council member. Um, I think my only concern was there was recently a grand jury report that came out on it regarding some fund refunds and stuff, and I didn't know if the amount that's in the agreement was now an annual fee or if we're expecting funds back like we have in the past. And then my also question related to that was how much money were we getting back in the past couple of years and kind of the recalculation of the formulas. And so I don't think they'd gotten back from my information from Doug. So that's the only reason why I wanted to either, I wanted to wait for that information to be available. I think that's part of the proposal is the funding and it's almost conflicting information that's been available. Mr. Mayor and Council Members, um, Council Member Vieira did reach out to me last week. I have contact, or about a week and a half ago, I did contact. SASA regarding if we are getting a refund because of 
federal, or not federal, excuse me, the fiscal year just ended June 30th. They're still in the process of ironing everything out with the numbers and stuff. They're going to get back to me once they find out if we get a refund or not. Yeah. Any additional questions from the council? Any members of the public have any questions or comments on item number five? Bring this item back. Is it you actually? Sure. So can, answer. can we pull, can we get the more information before we? They're looking at two thirds vote move forward with changing their bylaws and everything. So right now the way SASA operates is part of the rules are coming from the county of Stanislaus, part of the rules are coming from the city of Modesto. And so what they're trying to do is sit there and go, we need to standardize our rules and everything. And so that's what this is all about moving forward is trying to standardize everything under the county of Stanislaus rules and regulations. Thank you. <clears throat> that being said, Make a motion to approve consent number five. Second. Uh, you, did you open it up to public comment? I did ask the public if they had any questions or comments. Yes. Motion on the table in a second. Roll call, please. Council Member Casey? No. Council Member Vieira? No. Council Member Martinez? Aye. Vice Mayor Silvera? Yes. Mayor Lopez? Yes. Motion passes 3 2. Item number six, waiver of the second reading and adoption of the ordinance, an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Series of Many Chapter 8, California Fire Code and Title 15, Building and Construction and Chapter 20 Fireworks Sales, Title 5, Business License and Regulations of the Series Municipal Code to adopt the 2022 California Fire Code. Sir, you pulled this item. Go ahead. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Um, I'll be a lot less than five minutes. My name is Louis Linney. I am a vice president with TNT Fireworks. Unfortunately, I was unable to make it two weeks ago for first reading of this. Um, we were a little busy. Thank you to the city, to, to the council, to the police and fire. We think that the city is doing an outstanding job in trying to curtail illegal fireworks. We think that this ordinance in trying to get a little bit closer in cooperation with the city of Modesto is a good move. We do support this. I just wanted to give you a short, very short report of our results from this year. TNT Fireworks was happy to partner with eight of your local nonprofit groups. Clearly the uh, one wild card that nobody saw coming was the dramatic heat that hit July 1st and 2nd, which certainly did keep sales down. But of our eight groups, we had two churches, the American Legion and five youth activity groups. Incidentally, the American Legion we've identified as one of the oldest groups selling fireworks in the state of California with some 40 plus years in the business here in series at the old Richland market. And I just want to tell you that the eight groups combined for roughly $100,000 in profits that get to be put back to good use here in the city of, of series, obviously supporting youth, homelessness, act, homeless activities, prevention through the churches, and obviously veteran support. So again, I'm just here to say thank you. Oh, thank you. Anyone else would like to make a comment? John Warren, City of Series. My question would be, this is updating the fire code for 2022. Okay. And we're approaching 2024 firework season. So we're past 2023 and the fireworks booth and the rules that this might possibly have had an effect. So why are we so far behind the curve would be my question in approving this. Chief. Thank you, Mr. Warren. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Warren, it's a it's actually called the 22 fire code, but it's good for three years. It's a three year adoption cycle. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Any questions or comments? I don't see anybody on Zoom. No hands raised on Zoom. Bring this back to the council. Move to approve number six on the consent calendar. Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Casey. Yes. Council Member Vieira. Yes. 
Council Member Martinez. Aye. Vice Mayor Silvera. Yes. Mayor Lopez. Yes. Motion passes 5 0. <clears throat> Moving on to public hearing. Ordinance number well, 2023, amending Chapter 10 mobile food vending from motor vehicles of Title V business license and regulations of the City of Series Municipal Code to amend the regulations related to the food trucks. This public hearing will be continued to July 24th for the regular scheduled council meeting. But we will be opening up this hearing for the audience if you guys have any comments or questions. Please step up, sir. John Warren, City of Series. A couple of questions. <clears throat> when I kind of looked over what the staff had uh, written, I noticed that under number 16 of the proposed rules and ordinances and, and, and procedures that it talked about uh, benches, seats and chairs and covers um, in conjunction with the uh, taco truck and food vendor. But it said that if the vendor had LPG, natural gas, um, propane, and all of these vehicles, at least to my knowledge, have propane of some sort, whether it's for heating or for cooking or whatever. And it made mention that the covers and benches and things play from the from the vehicle, which is like the distance from the room. So I was curious as to maybe did I misinterpret that, or they want the taco truck to be up there where you guys are. And the back here and eat their groceries under their covers and on their table. I would think the intent would be so that they could sit next to the vehicle where they purchased the product. So that was something to look at. And the other thing that I didn't see there was the distance, 350 feet, that is now required from schools and from public parks. And that doesn't seem to be anywhere in the ordinance. And I would think it would be important to maintain a distance from those vehicles because they're not supposed to be in our public parks. We don't want them associating with school children when they're coming and going to schools. So those are the two things that I noticed. Thank you, Mr. Warren. Good evening, uh, Mayor and City Council and City staff. My name is Brandy Meyer. I don't have a whole lot to say, but I do want to say that I did attend both hearings. I appreciate the city for offering that opportunity to go in, hear all the different opinions from everybody. It really has changed my opinion about our food trucks. Um, I was able to hear both sides and um, I, I'm for food trucks, but I don't want to see an unlimited amount of food trucks in the city series. At the last meeting, there was discussion about comparison between Sherlock Modesto and series and the amount of food trucks. And the only thing that I wanted to say tonight, is I know it's coming back on July 24th, but to consider the square mileage of series compared to Modesto and Turlock. Um, I'm, I'm, I know we have a waiting list and I'm for adding up more trucks, but I don't want the city of series to become just food trucks. As president of the Chamber of Commerce, of course, I want to support our brick and mortar as well. So I want it to be a really good balance in our town. And I hope that the council will consider that next meeting. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Any hands raised on Zoom? There are no hands raised on Zoom. Okay, thank you very much. The public hearing is now closed. Moving on to item number nine, ordering the levy and collection of special taxes for fiscal year 2023-24 within the city of Sears community facilities, district number one, public services. This, this will also be continued on to the July 24 regular city council meeting. We'll now open this up to the public. Mr. Mayor, that's item number eight. What do you mean? Uh, oh, because of the way it's numbered here? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's, okay, item number eight. With that being said, open this up to the public. Is there any comments? The public? Anybody on Zoom? No hands raised on Zoom. Okay. Let me double check this because you said it's item number eight, but it says number nine. 
on on for me for public hearing i have item number eight as the chapter 10 mobile food vending and item number nine i have opening of the levy collections that's what's on this paper here on my notes so there must have been an error we made which is fine all, all, I, all we have to do is make sure that we move on so this will so the next one will be item number number nine correct the last one was item number eight so correction so the previous one is item number eight and this next one is item number nine ordering the levy and collection of special taxes for fiscal year 2023-24 within the city of series community facilities district number two public hearing the public hearing will be continued to the July 24, 2023 regular city council meeting. I now open this up to the public. Is there any members of the public that would like to make a comment? Seeing none, any Zoom? No hands raised on Zoom. Okay, thank you very much. Public period is now closed. There is no new business, no discussion items. Are there any council member referrals? No referrals. Moving on to reports. I have no reports. City Council members, do you have any reports? Casey? Uh, just at this last Saturday uh, at the Modesto Nuts Stadium, it was serious community tonight. Uh, the chamber was out there. They gave away a bunch of tickets. Uh, I was honored to throw first pitch for serious community tonight. So uh, thank you to the chamber for doing that and for the citizens of series that came out to the game. Thank you. Rosalinda, she had pressed her button. Council member. Rosalinda, go for it. Sorry, you usually go from one end. I know. I just I'm trying to spice it up. <laughs> no way. Um, series partnership. I know Doug also attended. I think after I left, um, the series partnership retirement of Charlie after 22 years serving serving the families here in series. We had a great job fair July 6. They got a lot of uh, positive feedback from both uh, the people that were there as well as the companies. And I do they did leave some brochures. If anyone is still looking for jobs, they do have QRC codes. Um, EDAC meeting was sent out. I think Doug finally got the email, so hopefully we should have someone there from the city of series representing us. We also have the Stanislaus Housing Alliance this week, and Casey and I have both confirmed that we will be there. Um, I do have, I see the fire departments here. I do have my ride-along coming up. I submitted my paperwork, and then I look forward to another ride-along with the police. I got an amazing amount of information from the, about the city on Graveyard all different kind of feeling at night. Um, other than that, that's it for me. Thank you. Thank you, council member. Vice Mayor. Yeah, so starting tomorrow, Costa Fields Series Youth Baseball in the city is hosting a huge pony level regional tournament at Costa Field. Uh, some staff were out there last end of last week and the, the fields, the park, the parking just wasn't up to par. So I just wanna thank Sam and Public Works and Joey and their staff for slamming it Friday afternoon and all day Saturday to get that park and those fields up to par for a tournament for literally kids are coming from all over the Western United States from what I understand. So things like this are what make our city motto together we achieve exactly what we try to achieve every day in the city. So thank you, Sam, Sam all the park staff, public work staff for getting on it at Costa Fields and moving forward, we're gonna revisit this. And uh, now with Joey on that, representing the city on the board, things like this probably won't happen in the future. I believe it was just a lack of communication, but thank you very much to public works and parks for making that park that's so dear to all to a lot of us look like it should every day. Thank you. Mr. Martinez. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I apologize. I did have one more announcement. Uh, Saturday, August 19th at Costa Fields is going to be the uh, series bands, barbecue and, and brew event. Uh, they're still looking for uh, amateur uh, meat cookers and fans to participate. They're still looking for judges. If somebody wants to sign up and judge and do all the food tasting, uh, they're looking for nonprofits to come out They're They're still looking for vendors. So uh, we're still about a month out. So if people are interested, then go to the, the chamber's website and uh, fill out the application there. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. City manager. I have nothing to report, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. City attorney. Nothing to report tonight. Department. Yes. I just want to just remind everyone tomorrow is week four concert of the park. Gotcha country. Um, come out and have some great food vendors. Um, we've been averaging roughly about 400. Awesome. Thank you. 
No, thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Is uh, Chance Condit here? Good evening, Mayor and Council. Happy to be here uh, tonight. I do just have a, a brief report. Uh, I know a year ago we did our uh, county sponsored community dump uh, over at Central Valley High School. It was a great success. I know Mayor Lopez was out there as well as uh, Keith and Brandy Meyer who are in attendance uh, among other community members who helped out in those endeavors. We filled a little over 22 of those large Burlotti bins. So, I mean, if you just think about that and the, the mass amount of trash that we were able to uh, deplete and take off to the dump, it was, it was quite a success for the city of Ceres. So we are considering doing a follow-up community uh, dump day uh, sponsored by the county. Uh, we're looking uh, to do this over at our BHRS facility over on Richland Avenue. Uh, so we look forward to partnering uh, with the city and making this uh, a success as well as with our nonprofits, Love Series, the Lions Club, and so on and so forth. Uh, so once we have a date and a time, we like to do these on Saturdays, but once we have a firm date and time, uh, we will certainly uh, share that with you as well as the public and our local newspaper. And uh, we're going to aim for probably late August, uh, September, especially when things cool off a little bit. I know that would, that would certainly help out. But uh, looking forward to that. Happy uh, to answer any questions if you have any. Thank you, Chance. Any questions? Thank you for always supporting us, Chance. Of course. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you guys you. have a good evening. You too. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll now adjourn this meeting, go to closed session for a conference regarding a public performance evaluation. Title City Manager, Conference of Legal Counsel, uh, anticipating a litigation, initiation litigation pursuant to California Government Code 54956, one potential case. Does anybody from the public would like to speak in regard to this closed session item? Seeing none. After the closed session, I will return to report out. Thank you.
Welcome back. Direction has been provided to staff. Thank you.